Hello and welcome to AGD. I am your host Shirogane, and today we'll be continuing our adventure through Root Letters. Last we left off, let's see where this journey goes because we are about to check where her address is. Oh, just activate the phone. That's how you I did. Okay, fine, game. You do you, cause you don't tell me. I typed in her address into my smartphone and. The map of it shows me the result. It's a bit of a hike from here. I need, I need the exercise though, so I'll walk. <laughs> Move. Fumino's house. I'm in a residential area. I arrive at the address, but it's all empty lot with an overgrown weeds. I checked the map on my phone. Oh, well, that's weird. According to my map, it should be right here, but it's just an empty lot full of weeds. I wonder if there's someone I can talk to. Check. I can see another house nearby. It looks a very common home. It's gonna give me the same results. Hey there, it's a mailman. I'll talk to him. Yeah, okay, so hitting that somehow give me the mailman? I'm sorry, I. But why? Why? I may be versed in anime, but I don't understand how this will give me that. Uh, the end, why? Uh, excuse me. Ask this place. Excuse me, is this? Wait, what was the address? Something wrong? I'm showing the mailman. Inventory. If that's the one. Then it should be it. I think there used to be a house here for. Where the Fumino's family lived. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, but I haven't been in the Masuo very long. I keep forgetting that other than me, everyone else can talk. I see. Oh. Oh.以前は洋館が建っていたんじゃないかな。火事で焼失したと聞いたけど、確かここですよ。as we last saw on the, the little trailer of that video. Fire! There was a fire here? When was that? Fifteen years ago. I wonder if she said in her letter it has anything to do with this. No, thank you. You were you were a big help. Well, great. I never imagined her house might just be gone. Just then, my stomach growls at me, and I remember how long I've been traveling. I th I'll think about it more on a full stomach. I wonder if there's any good restaurants near here. Maybe there's something I can in the guidebook. There's a sobo restaurant called Kam Kamiari's. Come here, Arian, within a walking distance, and I'll check it out. I'm at the Come Arian Soba restaurant. In front of the Come Arian, look at this place. I bet there's great food. It technically said, I probably. Food, uh, their food is probably great. The suspicious, uh, the spacious. Ah, I know it's a trailer, but it's not a restaurant. This restaurant can't be suspicious yet. <laughs> uh, the spacious interior makes the sober restaurant feel like a local institution. When I take a seat, a young waiter brings me a menu. Hey, Rasai. Hey, Rishai. I cannot say that right. Ah, oh, wow. 
Can I ask you a question? I accept the menu from Sanpei. <laughs> Sanpei disappears into the back. Okay, then I'm not sure what a guy like that is doing in an old school noodle joint. I'll look at the menu. If you got a big appetite, try the Yamato, Yamata no Orochi soba. Guess that's their specialty. Sanpei comes over. You got a good taste, but can you finish the entire thing? I've got a big stomach. Bring me the Yam Yamata no Orochi soba. <laughs> goes back into the kitchen. While I'm waiting, I'm only getting hungry. I can't wait to see what I'm actually getting. I'm gonna check the restaurant. This picture caught my interest. <laughs> it was like, why? I want to know. Oh, looking at the restaurant when he sets the Yamato no Orochi soba down in front of me. It's named after the eight-headed serpent, and the Yamata no Orochi soba is a giant serving of cold soba with a thick slice of eel in front of the eel on the side. This looks worthy of my stomach. I dig into the Yamata no Orochi soba. Whoa, this is delicious. It's so good. The soba is consistent easy. It's perfect. The in the eel is soft with a lot of fat. I'm so glad I was born in Japan. Hey. If it, this is, if it is, if it's this good, I think I can eat it the whole thing. I finished eating. Man, that was good. <laughs> Hearing this, the rough and tumble restaurant owner emerges from the kitchen. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Let's answer him in max mode. What? <laughs> During this important scene, you will switch to max mode to convey your feelings. So, on your current state of the gauge, when you have the dog you wish to convey, <laughs> appear on screen, press and confirm. Not like your answer, you'll be. I have no idea how that worked, I just pressed X! <laughs> Literally! No. Oh, I'm from Tokyo, apparently. なんだい。あっちね。大学教授の文の直樹さんが住んじゃった家だな。昭和社内洋館だっただもう15年前の年末に火事で燃え。娘ね。親父。I honestly don't want to ask him because he's going to be busy. Okay, I see. Mm. Sumo legs and hips. 
I guess I'll ask her out. But... Hmm. A place where I can find out about the fire. We found a library now. I'll research the fire there. Thank you. Oh, that's why I ask about tea. I don't want to be rude. Oh, he left. Oh. <sighs> Come out, yeah. We're on it. I should have asked about the tea first, then. Ah. Uh. Well, I came to the library to research the fire that happened 15 years ago. The modern building made out of concrete. Sure is quiet. I wonder where the periodical section is. I'll ask the help desk. I go to the help desk. Excuse me, where's the periodical section? Ah, uh, arigato. The librarian goes back to his duties. I guess I'll look at the newspapers. So, la. This? Here we go. I look at the archives. A version of newspaper from December 1999. On December 25th at 9 p.m., there was a fire at the home of Professor Naoki Fumino, age 67, which burned the entire building to the ground. The body of Yoko Fumino was found in the remains of the house. The cause of fire is under investigation. It wasn't Aya who died in the fire, but Yoko Fumino, 62 years old, her mother maybe? I found the basics of what happened in the fire. I think it's time to go to the hotel I reserved home, or reserved for a room at Matsui Inn. Overall map. Let's see where we. Ah, I arrived at the inn. This must be Matsui Inn, where I made reservations. It's an old style, old, two story wooden building. It's more of a traditional Japanese, uh, Japanese house building. So I can't complain too much. It's cheap, <laughs> apparently. The site is a large bath, and really, when it comes to the inn and room service, are more important than how it looks. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I don't care how it looks. The service has to be well worth it for me to want to stay there. I enter the inn. Excuse me. A woman in a kimono comes out to welcome me. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. A young woman in a kimono enters. <laughs> Tomoko shows me to my room. This inn looks like it has some history. Are you sure? I wouldn't mind having ghosts. <laughs> Yeah. You can see Lake Shinji right here. The big bath. Ooh. I don't want to read it all aloud because I, I'm going to appreciate that. That was the plan, but I may need to stay longer. I'm not sure yet. Domo. I should ask her. Or maybe she might know. Uh, she's, so she's not. Uh, 
You know something. Oh. Do you know anything? He had one daughter. I think her name was Aya. Did she get caught in the fire too? Wait, 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 wait. This was. Wait. 25 years. But the fire happened 15 years, and that's the last time we got a letter from her. Damn it, air. Uh, how is that possible? Haruka, are you sure? How could that be? What did they say about it? <laughs> what does that mean? My fam, how was a ghost? Oh, come on. Do you have a photo of her? Uh, in, I should have it. <laughs> More importantly, is the person in the photograph Aya Fumino? Hmm. So we're still stuck at the same point, basically. We find out she apparently died earlier, 10 years before we even meet her. But how's that possible? What? Matsui Oba High School. Hmm. そうだ。いとこが松江大場高校出身だったわ。あやさんと同世代だけ。何か失調かもしれんね。聞いといてあげましょうか。あやさん、悲しこんじゃったわ。長いしちゃ悪いがね。<laughs> it's not big enough to call a large rat. Maybe, maybe more of a small hot tub, but it's nice one at least. A wrinkled old man joins me to enjoy the public baths. Oh, this is the life. Who are you, Gramps? I'm not your <laughs> Guess I'm stuck with this old weirdo for a little while. Yeah, I guess so. This, although it seems weird, is actually no more normal over there with public baths. <laughs> no thanks. Eh? What were you? Right. <sighs> I have to ask. Because that's the right answer, so I'm going to pick this. Mm. Not to actually ask the question. Were you a detective or something? 
Wait, wait, you're higher than a detective? What are you? So that's no. Were you a salesman? Would you be mad if I said yes? <sighs> I would not believe you. I still don't believe you. You're old. Why would they want you now? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I might have bought it if you were FBI, but why FBI and CIA? Yeah. Now I'm stuck with this guy. I guess this is part of the traveling. If you had just said what, I might have. I might have believed you, but no. This day felt like a mystery novel. If it had, if what Haruka said is true, Aya Fumino died 25 years ago. And if that's the case, who was sending me the letters? A ghost? No way. I'm tired. I think I'm, I think I'll sleep on it. That. <laughs> That is really interesting. My second day in Matsui, I still can't believe what happened yesterday. There was a knock at the door. Come in. Tomoko comes into my room. Oh, arigato. I came here to find Aya Fumino. I'm st I'm thinking I'll walk around town see if I can find anyone who knew her. Oh, I thought uh, the way I read that made it sound like it was like she quickly did that then ran off. No, it's probably her own job. Huh? I wonder when this is gonna unlock. But this is getting more interesting. Why? Why, why, why? Fifteen years ago, I got, I sent letters to a girl named Aya Fumino as my pen pal to learn that twenty-five years ago, she had actually died. Now, could I be talking to someone else? Could it actually be her ghost? Well, I guess we'll have to find out next time. I've been Chirogane and thanks for watching Roots Letter. See ya until next time.